It is time to bring in our guest. Let's bring her back on the air. Thank you very much for joining us once again, Professor Dr. Mohaya Mama. Great Thank you very much. Great introduction of our guest. Thank you very much, Thank bro. Thank you for coming, for coming in again. again. Okay, let me just take that with me. And you know, every time you're on air, we have so much positive feedback, Professor. <laughs> and it's also, we keep bringing you back because apparently Malaysia can't get enough of you. And we're grateful for having you today. Thank Being you. grateful is our topic for the day. That's right. Um, we seldom talk about it, though. That's right, yes. So, so, what is being grateful as emotionally? That's right. Actually, when we say we're being grateful, it is an attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And what is attitude of gratitude? It's actually a faith in action. You are actually projecting your faith. Mm -hmm. When we say faith, it means that we believe in the unseen. Okay? For example, uh, uh, there are two things I want to mention here. Are we being thankful or grateful? When we say thankful, usually we refer to human, you know, I'm very thankful to you for helping me. But when we say grateful, usually it's more to the Creator or God. And I'm sure all Malaysians believe in God, that is one of our Rukun Negara. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So when we say we are grateful, we are actually having a very strong connection with the Creator, highest uh, uh, God Almighty. Uh, we should be grateful for everything. If we wake up in the morning, yeah, being an eye doctor, how many of us actually feel grateful? My God, I can see the room. Two, yeah, and if you are married, you touch, oh my God, my husband or my wife is alive. And you look at the children, oh, they're all normal. They are healthy. Nothing happened. Mm -hmm. And no, no, nobody break into our house last night. Mm -hmm. And when we go to the bathroom, we are able to uh, perform our normal um, uh, uh, opening your bowel, uh, uh, passing your urine. It's all normal. And you know, if you know the human body is fantastic, the mechanism that has to go through to do all this. So at every moment of our life, being grateful is number one attitude for happiness. Mm -hmm. Because are we grateful for something that is not nice? No. Mm -hmm. We're always grateful for something that is nice. So when you focus on the nice things, you become more grateful. And if you are always grateful, you have more things to be grateful for will come to you. Because the highest supplier of all this is God Almighty. So, so that's your, number one. In your personal point of view, um, okay, you have elaborated quite a lot on that. Do you think that is a rarity nowadays in our society, this um, feeling of gratitude or, you know? Yeah, um, I don't want to sound negative, but from my experience, after being a doctor for some time, I find that most patients, when they come, they will complain of the smallest thing and they fail to see all the good things Pleasure. around them. For example, I've, shown, I've mentioned many times here, if you show a white paper, you put a black dot, people see the black dot. Mm -hmm. So if you have someone with eye problem, they have a small style, slightly pain, for two days. They forget the 363 days of that year that they are free of pain. And they fail to see how the eyes are normal, they are able to see well, and their face is not distorted. Mm -hmm. They don't have a, you know, a fracture or somewhere. So this is something that I, uh, I will tell people that depends on your mindset. If you're a positive person, glass half full or half empty. The same thing, but it's your perception. So life is about perception. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, these are, as we mentioned since the beginning of the year, tough times yes. for a lot of people. Um, how is it possible for you to be grateful when you are faced with so much adversity? Yeah, pressures. Okay. Adversity and tough time is something that is talked about all the time. Mm -hmm. If you look at the media, the whole world, the whole world is saying recession, recession, we're going to negative, have negative things. Mm -hmm. But if you look at us now, I want to do an experiment with you. If you take in, when you breathe in deeply, three of us breathe in deeply, okay, we are taking air in, then we let it all out. Is there a suddenly a finishing of air? Does the air disappear? No, nope. so far so good. There's an abundance of air. Who give this air to us? God Almighty. Mm -hmm. So when we are talking so much about economy, everything, we are very much into man-made things. Man-made things are limited, but God-made things are no unlimited. Mm -hmm. So we, I think the media have to play a role in which you must give positive messages and positive images mm -hmm. and visualization to people so that they see abundance and prosperity and joy. Stop showing all the poverty, everything. Mm -hmm. We don't talk about trying to diminish poverty, but we should say promote prosperity. See, the power of language is very important. 